Hello guys, as we all know, today is 2010-2021. This makes it one year since the NTAS killings that happened last year, 2010-2020. Lots of people came out in mass, lots of individuals came out in mass to protest against the police brutality in Nigeria. And many of them were gone down by the military forces of Nigeria. Lots of lives were lost and the government till now has said nothing about it. So we're out here on the road, out here on the street, getting people's opinions on how they feel about what has happened, what has gone down, the lives that have been shared. And you know, we're hoping to get lots of positive responses. I am Peter Egbe, don't go anywhere. Thank you. It has been a very bloody experience last year, and I think this is making it uh, one year that we lost young, gallant um, youth to that protest. But I, I see, from my own point of view, I can actually say that um, the government has been, you know, uh, long challenge, you know, they don't pay attention to the cry of the youth or the masses. Actually, those guys are actually fighting for the rights of the young Nigerians that are coming up. But it's unfortunate that their lives were lost. I, I really felt for uh, the pain because that time I actually, you know, I'm a pastor, so. We, it, 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 it was a responsibility on me that I had to start praying for the future of this nation. But our government has to do the needful because we are no more the future of the nation. We are the, we are the, we are the, we are the now of the nation. Like right now, we are supposed to be in charge. They are supposed to pass in the, the baton of leadership to us. But I think there is no there is no opportunity for young people to actually express themselves. So because they could not express themselves, they came out that way. It was a peaceful protest, but, um, you know, the, the government and the politicians hijacked that, using our own fellow youths against us, which are the hoodlums. They took over the, the, the protest, and it was, it was really, really bloody. But this is the way out. It has happened, this has happened, but this is the way out. Let the government listen to we, the young ones. Listen to the youth. Because we are, we are the pillars of this nation. Because if you look at the population of Nigeria, over 160 billion people in Nigeria, majority of us are the youth. And the youth now are giving back down to children. And the children are coming up. But we can't see what we can boast of as a nation that we can hand over to our children. And so it's really, really saddening. And the only way out is that we, we seek God for mercy, that um, our leaders will do the right thing. I feel very sad because um, we, wanted, we wanted governments not to kill us and instead they killed us. They responded by killing more and more. And then this is one year since that time they created a panel and nothing has happened. We've not seen justice of any form. And now today from reports online we're already seeing again that they are beginning to arrest protesters or people that are just doing peaceful protests. Does it mean that we cannot air our opinions? So I, I really don't know why our government keep making the same mistake over and over again. I don't know why. I am very sad. I don't like that. Nothing has been done. I hope that justice will be served. And we are just looking, we are just hoping, we are hoping that maybe if this government goes, the next one can probably bring justice for us. We don't know. But it's just a very sad reality right now. We employ the federal government. All this drastically effort that they want to talk about the answers by maybe arresting all those people that want to spare high thing should not be so. Because the moment they arrested all those people, I believe that the problem will continue to aggravate. It is better for the government to think wisely and to think otherwise in order, in order for all this not to occur again. But the answer is I will implore the youth, the other youth, that they should, they should bury their, 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 their sword and make sure that everything in this country is going on. Because they say that uh, they, 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 let the youth come in for the political something in this country. But I know that without, uh, then we cannot achieve this thing with violence. Yes, we can only achieve this thing maybe in a peaceful atmosphere. Well, I believe that all those Baba, they don't want to even leave the road, the road, but we use, we know the way to do. And then I believe that God will give us the power to ensure that truth so that everything will go down in this country. To my own best um, knowledge, what I say about answers, 
is that truly their intention is to protect the citizen, to protect their country. But the way we are looking at it is not the way they are they are doing it is not the best way. They are not doing it with the mind of with 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 the mind of uh, giving the country peace of mind. They are doing it with hatred. The way I look at it, what they meant to do, what they are meant to do is to protect the country, to protect their citizen, right? But they are not doing that. Most times, I want more to share, to more rule. No more quantity. Tori, I want to equate what you want in a prison. I've been called to my fellow replace one. I want long more to wash it tomorrow. One call local one. One of your replace that one in a prison. For your call rebel, because you want to your mouth for what you want to look on your mouth for more. To yet to your colleague could do to leave. To leave your commache and call look on bay. Because I'm not be more. I'm all about to wash a tongue law to equate that just a kidney. One call local one of your replace that one in all. You know, buy one. Where can we be? Okay. To me, it's actually not too much, actually. But I feel like we need a better Nigeria because this um, this stuff has been happening. This before the answers actually, there are a lot, a lot of killings, a lot of you know, this brutality stuff has been happening for a long time. So I think our government, they should please talk. They should just do something because we've been begging them for years to do something. They are not really talking about anything, and we think that. Our voice should make a change, and when we raised our voice for a change, there was no change. So, how, 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 what are we? Are we, are we Nigerians or we are enslaved? Like, they should just, I don't know if they have anything to do, but Nigeria is not getting better, Dari. I don't know. It angers me when I think about the um, injustice in Nigeria. You know, even the protests, at least, protests should be, it should, it should be our right. You get, we should have the right to protest, but. In Nigeria, yeah, even this year that they said, okay, well, police said no, I uh, shouldn't protest. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's just as if someone telling you that um, you don't have the right to exercise your own rights. You don't, you get what I'm saying? It's as if they should want to arrest you for exercising your own rights. So it doesn't make sense. So I'm not happy. I won't lie to you. I'm not happy. But the thing is, we can't just say um, the youth should leave Nigeria. No, we should leave, but I'm not, I can't, we can't just say we should leave. Because if the able, but if the able ones are leaving, please, who will build Nigeria? So the thing is, I'm not happy with the situation, Norma, but, you know, we just have to, you know, do what we can do. At least the change can start from individuals. So guys, we've gotten lots of opinions and people's honest, you know, opinions and what they feel about what has happened. I feel like the government should really respond to the voices of the youth because the youths are the continuity of this nation. The youths are the strength and the might of this nation. So, you know, I hope we enjoyed today's episode. And for more updates, you can actually check out our various social media platforms and Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I remain your amazing presenter, Peter Igbe. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.